Hello everyone and welcome to system test one of the new addressable system and this is SMS Sentry uh, one loop panel as you can see made by Sentry so I'm going to show you guys my new installed system which is in my cupboard and I'm going to show you guys the devices and probably show you a little bit on the panel now as you can see there is a power fault and that is because there is uh, currently no batteries but I do plan to put some batteries inside the system um, to hopefully clear, clear the fault, hopefully. Uh, also there is another fault, if I um, go across the screen here, uh, back up to flash required, because uh, I think I need the software. But I'm not sure if I'm going to get the software or or not, but for now I'm going to be uh, leaving it as it is, and it all uh, auto-learns on the panel, so yeah. So, yeah, it's kind of cool, obviously, that I haven't managed to change the date, but I've got the time correctly, so uh, yeah. Um, so I guess I'm going to show you guys the devices and then we'll uh, I'll show you a little bit of the panel and then we'll probably test the device so yeah uh, if we go across the, the wire goes up in the cupboard and then the first device we have is a SMS Sentry optical smoke detector now it's just a standard detector uh, I will put the model numbers on the screen for the devices I think it's the 715 I think it's the uh, SMS uh, S S C E N seven one five, if I'm correct. Uh, I'll put the model numbers on the screen for each device uh, to tell you guys uh, which uh, what devices are what for the model numbers. So yeah, this is just a standard optical. As you can see, it does poll. Uh, I'm not sure if you just saw it poll. It polls at least every five to ten seconds. There you go. So it also polls, which is quite nice. And then it goes to a uh, SMS Sentry sounder. Now I'm not sure what model number this sounder is. Uh, again I'll put the model numbers on the screen um, but yeah uh, this is the Sentry sounder uh, kind of cool and it's mounted on the ceiling with the Sentry detector Then it goes down the loop in conduit um, keeps going down and then it goes down to the um, SMS Sentry call point uh, again I'll put the model number on the screen for the call point because I don't remember the call point number as you can see it poles green uh, I don't know if you can see that poll. There you go. So it polls green as well, which is quite nice. So, yeah, these are the devices. I do plan to get some more devices, hopefully, at some point. Uh, I may put one in my main bedroom. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and this is the panel itself. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys the uh, some of the features. And we'll also do a display test. And then we'll test the call point uh, for the test today. So, uh, yeah, let's go into the menu. Uh, then we need to go down to the um, go down to user because it's because it's in customer mode. Now we need to go to the next level. So user, then system, then code, and then it's just this is the default code. And I just click uh, press accept, and then it, as you can see, it opens up more fe uh, features. So uh, yeah, so I've got different stuff here. So um, I've got logs. So basically. Um, Everything that's uh, on the panel itself, the Firefox, same and test. So, uh, yeah, I can do some different stuff here. And then historic, which is like previous. Uh, and then user, so I can do different stuff. So, I can do um, everything about the system, so I can change the code, do a weekly test. Uh, it's already in day and night mode, and display test, which I'll do in a second. And then we've got the uh, zones. So um, I can't really seem to change the label of the zones because I think I need the software. But everything is in zone one. I can disable the zone one, or and I can also put it into test mode. Uh, also in alarms, uh, just tells you the different stuff here. Uh, and then the loop, so I can look at the loop, so the devices, how many devices in the loop, um, and then I can repair it in a status. And then in settings, uh, we've just got the clock to change the time and the date. And then engineering, which shows the systems versions and the firmware. Um, as you can see, there we go. So, and then site data. So yeah, basically that's it. So it's just a simple addressable panel. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get software for this, and if anyone can let me know how you get software for this panel, 
uh, please let me know because it might be interesting getting the software for this panel so I can do some programming but uh, I'm not sure if you have to pay for the software or whatever but uh, if anyone can let me know in the comments how you get the software uh, that'll be good so uh, yeah and basically that's it so uh, yeah I'll probably show you guys uh, the inside of the panel so I'll quickly do that now and uh, yeah I'll show you guys inside the panel so I've now opened up the lid to the panel as you can see we've got a wiring up here so we've got the different class changes and stuff like that and then uh, we've got our wiring at the top here our loop in loop out of the wiring and over here we have uh, the resistors now it's for the master alarm circuits because I haven't got any conventional sounders so uh, and then over here we have our power our, uh, our power connections and then at the very bottom would be where the batteries go and um, yeah it's basically getting enough open up over here uh, you'll be able to see in the, the inside of the panel itself so the main uh, I think it's got there's the loop card and that. So yeah. I'm not sure what some of this does, but yeah, uh, it's blinking with some lights in the panel. So and I think over here is where the com tool is. Um right there in the corner, the com tool. So yeah, that's basically basically it, and then they've got a loop card in it, so uh yeah, there we go. So I'll push that back in. And then yeah, that's that's it. So I'll put the lid back on and then we'll do a display test. So there we go, so that was a quick overview of the panel inside. Uh, now I'm going to do a display test. So I'm going to go to menu. Then I'm going to go across to user, I think it is, and then system. And then go down to display test. Now it's going to illuminate on the screen and all the lights will come on. So yeah, here we go. There you go, that was quite cool, all, uh, everything eliminated. So, yeah, now we're ready to do the test. So, uh, we're gonna, only going to test one device today, um, which will be the Century, Century Call Point. And then in the next test, we'll test the optical detector. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll give the um, Call Point a test, and then we'll finish it f uh, there today in the test. So, yeah, so here we go. Gonna pull it up. Uh, this has a, a resettable uh, element in it, so yeah, I can even push the push this or push the element or do it with the key. So yeah, I'll I'll do it with the um, I'll push it down actually. So and then um, you should be able to uh, hear it, hear the sounders go off. So yeah, I do plan to get some um, some more sounders. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and push it, so, uh, yeah, here we go. So there we go cancel the buzzer. Now I'm not sure why that makes that kind of like a crackling noise. I think you can hear like a crackling noise. Uh, I'm not sure why the the the, 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 um, the, the wall sounders, or it's, obviously it's installed on the ceiling, but I don't know why these sounders do the crackling because uh, I've tested it on uh, sound of beacon bases and stuff and uh, sound of beacons and yeah they don't crackle on the, the, the detector sounders so I don't know why this sounder does the crackling but uh, yeah, there you go, and it also starts off quiet and then it gets really loud. I'm not sure how you change the volume, and again, I think I need to get the software, but I'm not sure how to get the software, so yeah, anyone that can let me know. So, yeah, as you can see, the call point is uh, blinking red, as you can see, because uh, it's been activated, and there's the element. So now we're going to go ahead and push push this up, um, and yeah, I'll we'll try and see if I can reset it. There we go, so just push it like that. Oh. Uh, it's a bit hard to do one handed. There we go. That should be good. So push that down. And then push that back down. And we'll go ahead and uh, reset it. And as you can see, 
Uh, it's all in zone 1, it's flashing with zone 1 light. And then obviously total fires 1 and uh, device 3, uh, MCP. So, yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and press uh, reset and uh, yeah, that should be it. There we go. And as you can see, it's gone back to normal and it should be pollen green. There we go. So, yeah, that's going to conclude the system test for the system. Uh, in the next system test, I'll test the optical detector. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, this would really help, and like the videos and comment. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time for system test 2. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, bye everyone. Yeah.